What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Supreme Tech. Today we're going to go over Amazon tracking people through Fire Sticks. Um, and I'm going to go and show you step by step how to change some settings inside your Fire Stick so that they can't track your data, um, track your buying habits. That's how they do these um, targeted advertisements. Um, what they'll do, they'll monitor what you're doing. They'll look at everything that you search for, everything that you download, like apps. Um, and it monitors everything. So say you're online one day and you're looking for like a toaster or something. Um, then you might notice you might catch some ads for toasters popping up. So if you don't like that, um, make sure to stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to show you exactly how to stop them from doing this. Um, because it, it's not like it's a secret that they do it. I mean, they tell people that they do it. But it's not like they make it a point to be... Um, you know, sending out messages to people, it's kind of like a known thing that they collect the data. Um, if you don't look into it, you really would never know. But it is legal. I mean, they can do it. So it's not like it's illegal or anything. But if you don't like being tracked, let's hop onto the fire stick and I'm going to show you exactly what to change um, and some other settings too. Uh, they'll just help you overall. So let's go on the fire stick and I'll show you. All right, everybody, so I'm on the Fire Stick, and I'm going to show you all these settings that we're going to have to change. I'm on the new interface, so if you're using the old interface, uh, I'm going to put a picture up now. If you're using that one, all you got to do is go to the top in the settings. But if you're on the new interface, you're going to look for the settings gear all the way to the right-hand side of the screen. Um, we're going to click that, and then you'll see it pops up the same settings that you got on the old interface um, you got here. So the first one we're going to do, we're going to go to preferences. And this is where we're going to change most of it. So let's click on that. All right, so once we're in preferences, we want to come down to data monitoring. We can click it. And we're going to make sure this is turned off, okay? Make sure to just set this off. Um, this is the main one. It says you monitor data consumption on your Amazon Fire Stick Lite. Um, it'll say whatever device you got. Um, but it's just telling you right there, you know, they monitor your data. Um, and if you don't want them to, that's all you got to do. Simple as that. Um, after that, we're going to go to privacy settings. It's in the preferences still. So we're going to click it. And we're going to shut these off. Device usage data collect app usage data and internet based ads um, if you want the ads if you want it you know leave it on but um, this also will speed up your fire stick just a little bit nothing that is really too you're not really going to notice it too much but after that we're going to go back um, you can come up here to parental controls if you got kids um, you can turn these on and do whatever you know put in a pin Select whatever they want to watch. Um, these next couple settings, you don't have to shut these off. This has nothing to do with the data monitoring, but um, it's overall better for your Fire Stick. So while you're here in the settings, if you want to come to notification settings, um, shut this off. Or you can come and select whatever individual app. Say you only want notifications on one of them. You can do that here. Um, but like I said, make sure if you don't, this will speed up your fire stick too. Um, you just click do not interrupt, turn it on. Um, then we're going to come down to featured content and turn both of these off. Um, video autoplay and audio autoplay. Um, it just allows featured rotator to autoplay sound when off. Um, you don't want them autoplaying nothing, right? So it doesn't really matter. Shut them off. And that's about all we're going to do in the Preferences tab. So let's go back. Um, then we can slide up to Applications. Um, again, if you're on the old interface, you're going to go all the way up to the top and go all the way to the right to Settings um, and then click on Applications. Once you're in here, we're going to come down to Amazon Photos. Click it. You, If you want to shut this off, um, I don't ever like having it on, so that's just me. If you want it, leave it, but 
I just never liked it or had a need for it really. Um, and then disable Amazon Photos. Okay. After that, we're going to come down to Game Circle. If you do play games on your Fire Stick, um, you might want to leave this on. But if you have absolutely no need for games on it, just go ahead and shut that one off too. Um, come down to App Store. If you don't want automatic updates, um, which you should keep this on, but if you don't want them automatic, um, you can shut it off. But you're going to have to remember to keep looking back if you want to actually get an update. Um, and sometimes you might, they might force you to do it. Um, you won't even notice. They'll just do it. Amazon will update it. Um, then you can slide down to in-app purchases. Shut that off. Um, I like to do this because I have kids. If you don't have kids, I mean, there's really no point to do this. Unless you don't want to accidentally pay for something, then just shut that off. And that's everything, guys. So I just want to show you all that um, because Amazon does monitor your data and they do use it. So if you don't want that, just follow what I did in this video and you should be good to go. I think that about does it, though. If you're new, again, make sure to subscribe, smash that like button. Really appreciate all the views and subscriptions and all that, guys. Thank you, um, and I'll see you in the next one.